Hey guys, I'm sorry for not posting on Wednesday or posting this video late as well. Uh, There's just time and things and not getting enough sleep. I don't know, it's fine. So today we're going to talk about turtles uh, laying eggs a little bit and how you can like make a substrate for them to lay eggs in. And honestly, I'm not the best person to be talking about this because my turtle that lays eggs, which is Phoebe, uh, she generally just kind of jumps out of her tank and runs around until she lays them on the floor, uh, which is rather unfortunate because I like I wish she didn't have to like search all around. But I do have like an area in, in her tank for her to lay eggs, and she just doesn't use it. But uh, I'll talk about the soil mix. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about what happened to the tank that I had sand in. Unfortunately, my betta passed away. And I just wanted to talk about that in one video. I didn't want to make a whole video about it just because, I don't know. I feel bad there because I think it had a dropsy and I probably didn't do enough to like help it, but I didn't really know what to do. And I just, I don't know. I probably should have gone through more, like tried to get like medicine or something, but I was kind of hoping it would work itself out. That didn't quite happen. I'm not really sure how it got it because I didn't think its tank was super dirty or anything. And uh, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have moved it out of the community tank, but then I moved turtles into the community tank, so that wouldn't have worked out. Uh, I just, I feel bad about that. Um, but it passed away. I found it uh, in its tank. Uh, it, it had passed, which I, again, I was kind of expecting at the time because it did have dropsy. It was kind of bloated and it wasn't doing quite right. So I took everything out of its tank. I didn't really intend to uh, keep its tank running, but then I just filled it back up again because I don't know, but I removed the sand and I kind of just had the sand in a bucket for a while. So when I went to put soil into the, the basking area that I made for Phoebe, which there is a video, I'll try to link that video uh, to, to here. I should have included this in that video, but I didn't realize that I had this filmed, so I'm putting it in this video. And basically I just mixed up some eco-earth, which is like normal reptile bedding that uh, people use, and all you have to do is you like get a brick and then you put it in a, a bucket and you put some water on it and then it, it rehydrates the brick and expands like a ton. So I rehydrated some eco-earth and once I did that, I mixed it in the container with uh, a good amount of sand, kind of like a half and half mixture, I want to say. And then I put that in there and then you want it moist, but not like dripping wet. So you don't want to be able to pick it up and like squeeze it and have it drip, but it needs to be moist. And then uh, you can also use like topsoil, maybe a mixture of like eco earth and topsoil or different things. I mean, obviously in the generally when you see it in the wild like if you think about the soil because these are uh, North American turtles I have if, if I think about like the soil around ponds and stuff it's generally kind of muddy it's very thick with weeds and the grass and stuff and that's what they're laying in so really they're normally it's like scraping out mud and stuff to kind of or not I mean it's not the mud right beside a pond so to speak but it's generally like you know, wet uh, soil at the time that they're they're putting it, and it's not gonna be super uh, like aerated like the soil that we use as far as like enclosures and terrariums and stuff like that. So it's kind of more muddy. I'm not saying you need to replicate that, but uh, I think it's important to maybe keep that in mind. Like I expect some of my turtles to lay eggs when I eventually get them out in a pond. Uh, in the enclosure which is just you know like normal Ohio soil that's kind of clayey and uh, not at all like uh, sand and, and eco earth so uh, but in theory this should work um, I just I haven't figured it out I don't know why my turtle doesn't want to lay eggs in uh, her you know her basking type of area uh, thing that I have set up for her. I'm not sure why she doesn't try to dig into that. I honestly don't know. And then I have like a similar thing set up and the outside tank for the, the 300 gallon stock tank. And they, they 
kind of fast on it, but they never tried to lay eggs in it, uh, which was confusing to me. And that was mainly topsoil and like sand type of deal going on in there. And eventually it rained a bunch and that tub flooded, which is really annoying. Uh, so it's still filled with water from the summer, but I'm not entirely sure what to do there. So I, I don't have all the answers as far as this is concerned. One video that I watched was somebody and what he did is he put, he got like a tub and then I want to say he had like a, uh, some type of mixture that included topsoil. So either he mixed it with sand or he mixed it with eco earth or something like that. And then he would wet it down. So like it said, it's not dripping, but it's moist. And then he would just put his turtles in there for a couple hours, like uh, for multiple parts of the day until they had laid their eggs. Now, when I've tried that with Phoebe and she just tries to get out. She has no interest in being in a tub whatsoever. And maybe I need bigger tubs or something and I, I'm not really sure, but she just wouldn't focus on trying to lay eggs at all. She would just try to get out all the time, which is weird because what she normally does is she'll kind of pop out of her tank and then she will go around my room and I'll open my door and she'll go out to the living room and then we have like this, these raised bricks where our fireplace is and she'll get up on those bricks and kind of move around for a while until she eventually lays the eggs off the bricks. And she's done that three times now, I think. So it's a pretty regular thing. She pretty much always lays them in the same place. And I don't understand how laying them in soil is less appealing to that uh, in comparison to that. Because I put her in when I know she's going to lay eggs because she's walking around the living room and stuff. She, I can tell when she's looking to lay eggs somewhere. So uh, as far as Right now, I kind of just let her do that as she needs to because, I mean, if that's the only thing that she'll do, then at least she's getting them out, and I don't want her to be egg-bound, but I hope that I can provide her a, a better way outside at some point because I feel like she'd be more likely to go ahead and lay them outside, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, I mean, if she was in a pond, then it would be better. The unfortunate thing is that Phoebe, the giant red slider, cannot go in with other females because she's very aggressive towards other females. So, like, I don't want to put her out in the pond uh, where she has a, I have like a 125 gallon pond out and then it has like this area that's fenced in around it. And I don't want to put her out there because I have other females that can go in with other females and if I put like three females out there, then they'll all have the opportunity to lay eggs because they're all adults. Uh, they've never laid eggs like Phoebe has, but I'm sure they, uh, I mean, I'm sure they develop infertile eggs. So I'm not really sure what they're doing, but uh, I want to give them the opportunity rather than just one turtle. So that's pretty annoying. And I'm not entirely sure what to do about that, but I'm hoping to somehow get it in such a way that I can keep the majority of my turtles outside all year round and what that's looking like is building a much bigger pond because the, the 125 gallon doesn't freeze but it does get, I'm pretty sure the water gets below like 22 degrees Fahrenheit um, like on a regular basis during the winter and it was kind of cold this winter I think or at least it snowed a lot and I just don't think the turtles could handle that because it's not below like a certain like it's, it's rather high up in the soil. It doesn't go very deep. The pond doesn't go very deep. So I don't think it would allow the turtles to properly brewmate as they should. So uh, I'll have to build a bigger pond. That is the plan. I think I know where we're going to dig it. Uh, but we'll probably like rent out like some type of vehicle type of thing to dig out. I don't know what that would be called. Um, like scooper dealio to... Uh, dig out a bigger pond and then lay down a huge liner and then I can put at least the Wichita map turtles and some of the more friendly uh, turtles like the the red Ridge slider and the western painted turtle and they can stay out all year round and then I'll kind of just be stuck with uh, Phoebe and Norman who are rather aggressive turtles that are red Ridge sliders as well so which is kind of annoying about red sliders. I think they tend to turn aggressive as they get older, but I don't have a whole lot of proof of that because I haven't really raised any. I've kind of more just taken them in as they are already 
mean. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, my, my beta passed away, which is very disappointing. Uh, I probably should have done more for that, but I just didn't really know what to do. And then as far as soil is concerned, uh, provide a place if you can that's attached to the enclosure. The thing about basking areas or like turtle tanks is that there's no like easy layout. Uh, you kind of have to build the tank around your house, like however you want it. So I recommend getting on like Pinterest or just looking up like different ideas for that on, uh, on like Google or whatever and just looking at pictures and seeing what other people have done and then try to replicate that in some way that works well for you and then just kind of experiment with it. I'm still experimenting with it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to figure out how to make the perfect basking area for the turtles. But as far as right now, I'm not really sure because they're, they're, I don't know what they're thinking. So hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put the comments below. And if you want more content, then feel free to subscribe. I promise I will keep making content. Have a fantastic day.